Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a review and kind of first impressions of the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot um, All Day Liquid Departer Foundation which is supposed to keep you matte and the, also the One Heck of a Blot Primer. Um, I'm going to let you know what I think. I'm doing a demo of how I put it on, what kind of way I prefer to put it on and then of course my final review of would you buy it or should you not um but yeah i have it on right now so far so good um and i will just keep you updated throughout the day so thumbs up um if you like these kind of videos i actually really enjoy doing first impressions so if there's any other products that you want me to try out as a first impressions please please comment down below because i do really love it love filming these so yes, if you want to find out what I think of this foundation, then please keep it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start off with the primer. Um, today I was kind of not sure whether to film this or not because I have got a few uh, wee breakouts on my nose. But then I kind of thought, do you know, this is probably the best time to test it to see what the coverage is like and stuff like that. So the primer is called One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer. That is a tongue twister. Um... Okay, what does it claim to do? It claims that it instantly diminishes the appearance of pores, controls shine for 12 hours, makes your makeup last longer, hides imperfections, evens out skin tones, reduces appearance of redness and leaves you good to glow. So that's a lot to claim um, in a primer. I just think the packaging is so cute. Um, and I open up the box and it is just a wee really really pale pink packaging so I'm just going to apply this with my fingers like I always do I'm just going to get a blob on the back of my hand and just kind of get my fingers and apply it mostly to be honest in my t-zone so like there across my nose on my chin and on my forehead because that is where I get the most oily and also have the biggest pores. Today I'm also wearing the Mani MUA palette on my eyes. I was thinking of maybe doing a tutorial on it. If any of you are interested, please let me know down below because the palette is just gorgeous. Been actually kind of like one of my go-to looks is this look, so I've been really, really enjoying it. So instantly it feels nice. Um, I'm still just rubbing it in. Okay, that feels nicely rubbed in. I'm just going to get a mirror and have a wee close look up at my pores and stuff like that. So I can still see some pores and I definitely still have redness on my nose. So it definitely hasn't um reduce the appearance of redness and it hasn't hidden imperfections either because i can still see them on my nose but i mean it does make my skin look a bit smoother and it does feel really nice on the skin it feels so lightweight as well so i will update you with what i think of that because really the main thing that i want this for is to keep me from getting oily so fingers crossed this works okay now on to the foundation the foundation is called One Heck of a Blot All Day Liquid Departer Foundation, which sounds great. Um, it's got Shine Block 12 Hour Long Wear Technology and Super Blur Powders. So let's see what it says it claims to do on the back. It says it controls shine for 12 hours, delivers a flawless fill coverage, no cakiness, blurs away the appearance of pores and imperfections. So this sounds really amazing. So I'm going to try to put it on two different ways. One side I'm going to use a brush and the other side I'm going to use a beauty blender. So I'm going to use a brush first I think. So I'm just going to put it on my finger. If I can't. And there was only four cut Oh, that is a lot. Um, I've just put far too much out. Oh, that's really light. It looks so much darker. Uh, it doesn't really it looked darker in the shop so hopefully I can make this work um fingers crossed because there's only four shades in this um which I wasn't really amazed about and I think this is one of the in fact I think this is the lightest shade 
What shade is this in? Um, fair enough. So I think I'm almost sure it is the lightest shade because the others looked so so dark. Okay, so I'm gonna try it with a brush first. Um, I'll just do one side of my face first, and then I'll move on the other. Just so that when I do one side, we can compare it to the other. So I'm just gonna get. Oh, I'm using the Morphe E6 foundation brush. This has been my favorite brush lately, and I'm just going to. Oh, it's so light. Oh no. If I like it, I might go and pick up a different colour. It's so light, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to have to work with the lightness um, because there's nothing I can really do about it now. I'm just going to have to like blend it in. I'm just going to use bronzer to bronze myself up again as much as I can because this is so light. So be aware that in boots it's going to look lighter or darker than what it is. Okay so so far with the brush I can see just a lot of swirl marks and stuff like that. Also on my nose it's gone a wee bit like bitty, like separating a wee bit. Okay, so that is one layer. As you can see, it has covered up everything really nicely, apart from maybe a wee bit on my nose, but I might do a wee bit more coverage on it. It does feel like it's set really nicely, um, and it did blend in really nice, so that's nothing. One layer. So I think you can tell the difference. It definitely has given me a nice coverage, and I do feel like it's quite a full coverage foundation and that was only a wee bit on my face so and that's with the brush so I'm going to now try it with a beauty blender so again I'm just going to get a bit on my finger and dot it all over my face. I also don't think he's quite need as much as what I've put on. I think I've put on a little bit too much but We'll, we'll work with it. We'll try our best. So I just got my damp beauty blender. No, you also use the Real Techniques beauty sponge. It's just as good. So I'm just going to dab that all over. Okay, so I think I like the beauty blender a wee bit better actually because it's just making it go on really really flawlessly okay so once that's all blended out the colour I think I can work with I think I just need to bronze it up a wee bit but I definitely definitely like it better with the beauty blender I don't know there's just something about it that it just made it go on so quick and easy and really really flawless it even fixed my nose a bit where I thought it was separating so I definitely re recommend this with the Beauty Blender. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and finish the rest of my face makeup and come back and then I'm going to keep checking in during the day until I kind of I'm taking my makeup off to let you know if I think that the shine has stayed away because I do have very very oily skin and would I recommend it to you. So yes please keep tuned if you want to find out what I think of this foundation. Okay so that's me back. I have Hopefully I'm in focus. I have done the rest of my face makeup. Um, actually, I put the foundation on at half past one and it is now ten past five simply because um, I wanted to, to finish the rest of my makeup. I finished it and then I was going to come back and kind of give more of a uh, review. But then the guys came to finish off my wardrobe. Um, so now my room is completely done. So thumbs up if you want a room tour or comment down below because my room is perfect for me now um so yeah that's why i'm coming back now but i can give you kind of my first impressions at the time and my kind of update now so it's 10 past five so half one to 10 past five that is roughly just under four hours um so far no shine like not even shine on my head which is unreal because I have just hauled all of my clothes back upstairs and I was sweating and I am way too warm even right now with this big light on me um so so far loving it um I think my skin actually looks really flawless I don't know 
what do you think but I can like my skin just looks flawless it feels nice um if I have a close-up look oh I have lipstick on my nose whoops okay so I got lipstick on my nose and rubbing it off there the foundation did rub off a little bit I don't know if you can tell but again, at the minute, I am loving it. It is a little bit too pale for me. Um, but if I like it by the end of the day, I might go and buy a darker colour. Who knows? Um, but at the minute, I'm really liking it. First impressions, when it first went on, it did turn to powder really nicely. Um, which was lovely. But I, I always set my foundation, no matter what foundation that I am using. So I just um, put the tiniest bit, like I barely used any today because I did want to test it out. I normally use a lot of powder to set it, but today I used the Soap and Glory Kick Ass um, Instant Retouch Press Powder in that packaging. It's so cute and it's actually like really yellow. Oh, can you see? It says Instant Retouch on it. I think it's so cute. So all the packaging's gorgeous. But first impression so far, really loving it. Definitely, I think, like the side better that I have used with the sponge. Um, even now, looking at it, I can still see a bit of a difference. It just looks so much more flawless. Um, but yeah, so this is my kind of update. I will update you again in a few hours. I have been sitting in front of this light for a long time. So I'm happy with how it's held up. And I will be doing another video. So um, at the minute, it's a thumbs up from me. Um... I, it's oh it's really full coverage by the way which is nice and it's not cakey at all my skin looks really flawless so at the minute the oil is at a low and my face is looking good so I will come back soon and update you with what I think hi YouTube so this is my last check-in of the day uh, for my foundation update it is currently I don't know if you can see um 27 minutes past nine so it's had it on for a good kind of 10 hours and I'm just ready no not 10 hours <laughs> I don't know like a good eight hours or something I'm just so tired today I've done so much moving and packing and I am roasting like this foundation has had somewhere today because I have sweated it out trying to move all my clothes into my my new wardrobe so again I'm just gonna get my mirror and have a good look Okay, so I'm definitely sh getting shiny on my forehead and on my cheeks a bit. Um, also, I have no foundation left on the bottom of my nose at all. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to sim you in a wee bit. I don't know if you can see. And it's kind of um, separating a wee bit on my nose. But... I kind of understand why it's all off on my nose because I do have the cold. I have been blowing my nose quite a lot but the top of it has separated a wee bit which to be honest I'm a wee bit disappointed in. Also I don't know if you can tell, excuse my lips, I have like no lipstick on. If I go like that, kind of wipes it off a wee bit. I don't know how much you can tell from that but I can definitely notice. But again, I have been spelling a lot. I have been doing so much work today that I'm just so ready to get this off my face. Although it's, it doesn't feel heavy on my face and I have really, really good coverage. Um, but I'm just not... Not 100%. I mean, it's not shiny. I, I mean, it's shiny on my head. And if I go like that, I don't know if you can tell, but... Can you tell I have like foundation on my finger? It's not stay put, but I think if I had a, like I'm rubbing it off with my finger now and like currently in between my eyebrows and stuff is a bit of a mess. But if I had have maybe um, powdered it, I think I could have saved it. Obviously with me rubbing my finger all over it, it is gonna come off, but the nose has not lasted 100%. Like it is literally rubbing off. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Let me try to turn this brightness down a bit. Can you see, like, on my nose? Like, I've literally just got my finger and you can see all my blemishes again. And it's, like, all rubbed off. So, so yeah, I don't know. Sorry, this is probably not in focus and everything. But I, I'm just so tired. And you can probably tell my, my fitness at the end of this video is all over the place. But, um, yeah... 
I'm happy enough. I think if I had a maybe powdered it a wee bit better this morning and blotted maybe at about seven because there's half nine now so I think maybe if I had have done that it would have lasted well. Also I as I said a hundred times before um, I was wearing it a long time and through quite doing quite a lot so maybe that had something to do with it but yeah so overall I am quite happy with it and I will be wearing it again and I will update you on what I think if that's what you are interested in so please comment down below if you want the wee update I might write it in the down bar or post it on Instagram or on my snapchat or something so be sure to follow me there and yeah I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!